do you have i mean i mentioned a lot of people have this intuition against the continuity of space motivated by such current concerns as as zeno's paradoxes of motion do you have any concern about fields or anything like this uh on these grounds i have a very very mild concern let's put it that way um as we said before when talking about mathematics and the philosophy thereof, uh, there are puzzles in mathematics, and many of them are traced to thinking about infinity. And if the world were fundamentally finite, maybe those problems would not be there. But like I said, also, quantum mechanics involves the continuum in a very, very um, deep way. So I did write a paper pointing out that there are versions, you could slightly modify quantum mechanics to completely get rid of the continuum. Um, and really base it on a lattice of, of possible states. In that theory, um, it, I, I don't think that the current version of that theory is quite phenomenologically viable because um, it would have what we call a Boltzmann brain problem. Uh, most of the universe would spend time close to thermal equilibrium and there would be small fluctuations around it and the chances that anyone that looked like us would be such a random fluctuation is very large. Therefore, you have no reason to trust the theory in the first place. And um, But that's a pretty weak argument because we don't understand this theory very, very well. So I, I take it as a demonstration of how difficult it is, possible but very difficult, to invent a viable theory of fundamental physics that is truly getting rid of infinity. But um, if one were to be able to do that, I, I definitely think that such a theory would have its, its selling points. <laughs>